What is going on lads and welcome back to another squad builder. Today we're taking a look at a veteran golden oldie squad builder as you can see headlined by Iniesta, Ibrahimovic and Pepe. Although Pepe, Pepe looks like he's after biting down on a very sour lemon there. He does look in a lot of discomfort but this is a good squad lads to have if you've got limited funds and you're looking for a bit of crack, a bit of fun and you want to roll it back with some absolute legends in the game. All the players are aged 37 or older i think iniesta is the youngest so let's crack on we're going to kick off with our manager so starting us off we have got this manager now obviously the managers change with the live update so this uh, this week we've gone for petrikov he's playing five at the back a 5-4-1 we're going to be playing our left and right midfielders in an advanced winger position as we will see in a little bit but you can play a little bit more defensive if you want as well kicking off no squad would be complete if you're looking at golden oldies than the 43 year old buff on mad to think that this guy could play probably until he's about 50 he's 15,000 gp he's got amazing ability in the game now he is on d form obviously that will change with the live update and he doesn't have unwavering form but being a defensive keeper he does have low punt captaincy and fighting spirit and he also has very nice goalkeeper awareness and reach and catching as well bit of upgrade into his training and you will be flying it with Buffon next up we've got Gail Clichy obviously Arsenal fans will remember this guy I think he played with Arsenal and City or did he just play with City I'm not too sure I'm not too sure I think he did but GP price is under 6k Look at the amount of player skills that this guy has. Really good stamina, ball control, everything. We're going to actually take a quick look at his stats over on eFootballDB.com. He can also play CB or left mid, but we won't need him for those positions. We are playing a five at the back, so we will be able to bombard up and down the flanks as much as we want while having cover. So over here, if we're just to simulate what his training could potentially turn into and boost up his dribbling, his dexterity, his lower body strength, obviously for speed and acceleration. And then we're going to boost in a little bit to defensive capabilities as well. So he does have three forms. So he has unwavering form, which is always good. And also to keep a few for his play style as well. If you want to choose, you know, whether you want a possession game or quick counter. As far as I know, I think... Uh, the manager that we have is long ball, but I can double check that for you. Next up, we've got the first of our three-man partnership in centre-backs, Jose Fonte, 32,000 from Lille, playing over in League One in the French League. Really good player skills again, lads. Obviously, um, you're not going to be getting a lot of speed here. I think that's what's going to catch you the most. I think Pepe is going to be the next option. He's going to be the most speed that you would probably get from this defensive trio. But I think a nice height. He's got a nice um, dual um, efficiency as a defensive player. And he can also, you know, it's kind of be the main man in the middle, I think. Dante is going to couple up into the middle um, of him or beside him in a two-man or three-man spread, as I should say. He's going to be your more physical player as well. So obviously, again, you've got height, you've got strength, you don't have much pace, you don't have much speed, but unwavering form as well as aerial superiority, weighted pass, captaincy. Lads, what these guys do is just give you a very, very, very solid performances. They're going to be copper pace a little bit, so you need to have five at the back, in my opinion. Pepe does kind of bring up the pace a little bit and remember you can train all these guys up as well and to be honest with you there isn't a massive difference in the defenders between if a defender is over 75 acceleration he's either going to win the ball or he's not going to win the ball you know having him as an 82 or 83 rated acceleration um, isn't going to make a massive difference over the course of like five or six games yeah you might get caught every now and again but I think that Pepe is a very very solid player so all your players are kind of nice height nice physical as we see here he's got some lovely player skills uh, cards as well and as you see when we go up the levels Pepe turns into a bit of a monster lads and a lot of the older players they don't have as much progression as the younger players obviously like if you get a center back that's age 21 or 22 um or younger they might have 100 training points that they can pump in but these guys have got really solid baseline stats so you can see his aggression is very very high his defense is very high for a center back he's up in the 90s keep a bit for your play style as well but that's all you really need i mean he's going to win every 50 50 danny alves now this guy could make pretty much any team 
if you're looking for a budget right back i think he's absolutely amazing his acceleration go up 10 boosts and you're going to be having a, an 80 acceleration you go up maybe 10 and have a 76 speed as well and that's going to bring up your balance and your stamina and his ball control dribble and tight possession and his defending is actually quite decent that if you pump up a bit of training into him you're going to have a very decent player on your hands he's also got roman flank for a wider position hutchinson so this guy was a bit of a legend for me back in 2015 i think him and Ponzio were two guys in MLO that were absolutely incredible. He's an anchorman, outright anchorman, true and true. Look at the amount of player skills he has. But he also is able to play a bit. He's got first-time shot, first-time pass, one-touch pass, way to pass, outside curler, interception, blocker, captaincy, fighting spirit, and heading. He's a big, big unit. This team is going to be just aggressive, lads. There's going to be about four red cards per game when you play with this squad. Now, looking for a bit of finesse, it is Andres Iniesta. This reminds me of that movie Mean Machine. Do you know when you've got like one good player and then the rest of the big brutes around him? Andres Iniesta is going to be your finesse. He's going to be the guy that pulls all the plugs or, you know, pulls all the moves out of his bag, is able to split the fences open uh, while Pepe is splitting the strikers' heads open. And I think if you're looking at a player like this, Iniesta, again, for 76,000 GP, right? He's got all the player skills you could want. He's the perfect CMF. Ribery. So rolling back the years, we've got Ribery teaming up with Iniesta. They would have been two of the very, very best players playing against each other at the time uh, with France, obviously, and with Bayern Munich and stuff against Barca. 22,000 GP. He's lost a bit of pace, obviously, he's 38 years old, but his dribbling, his ball control, his tight possession, and his balance can all go up very, very high with his training. He's got a lot of ability there. He can go up into the mid-80s to the high 80s, depending on how you train him up. Next up, we've got Joaquin, 40 years of age, 15,000 GP. He's got super sub. He's got unwavering form. He's got flip-flap, sombrero. He's got scissors feint, double touch, true passing, long-range shooting, so he can keep you honest if you're not rushing out to defend him. And you can play him as an AMF or a left winger, depending on how advanced you want to play this team. You can throw him in as an SS as well. He can play pretty much anywhere. I would play him left wing or right wing, depending on which position that you want to play Ribery. But again, he's a really, really nice player. Last but not least, we have King Zlatan. Ibrahimovic himself, 120,000 GP. He's more expensive than every single player nearly combined on the team, um, him, and, him and Iniesta. But I do think that if you are looking at Ibrahimovic here, he's got amazing stats, even though his um, speed is very, very slow. All you want to be doing with Ibrahimovic is lumping the ball forward to him and hopefully getting onto the end of it. He is a target man. If you play a long ball counter, obviously he can link up with a different coach, but for this formation, he looks the part. You're just going to be swinging crosses in left, right, and center, beating players on the wing. So if we go on to football DB again and look at Ibrahimovic's stats here, we can see that, yeah, you're not going to really want to improve his speed, obviously bring it up to maybe like 64, 65. All, uh, do the same with his speed and his acceleration is matched. His aerial strength and his shooting is where you want to max out this. He is tree form as well. But it's just his overall player ID and ability on the pitch, lads, is unbelievable. Some players don't play to, to their stats. You know, if you're playing as Ibrahimovic as a 90-rated CF, you're going to cause players a lot, of, a lot of trouble if you get the good ball in. So that is our total squad cost. It is 397,000 GP in around that. Um, we might have added the manager wrong, but it's in around that. Obviously, with the live update, there's new manager updates. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this team, lads. If you have any of the players on this squad, I know a few people were giving shout outs to Pepe, Danny Alves, and Ibrahimovic and Iniesta. So hope you enjoyed this one, lads, and Buffon as well. Hope you enjoyed this squad builder. It's a bit of crack if you're looking for something different to start a game and have a bit of banter with it. But yeah, we will be back quite soon with another couple of episodes. Peace.